on a warm, wacky Wednesday here in Whitfield, Virginia. We welcome you inside the Apex Center alongside Ryle Purdy. I'm Brent Wiseman. Purdy, a lot to unpack from the last time these two teams met. Definitely, Brett. Uh, the last time these two teams met, it was a clash. It was a lot of uh, physicality, a lot of pucks deep, and ultimately a lot of goals. And uh, today, both teams are going to be looking to eliminate option one, and that is through attention to detail. Everybody is going to be all for one, one for all the whole game. And that leads to point number four. Start fast and finish strong. You're going to need to go 110%. Pucks are need to get, get deep, dump and chase. F1 hard, pass it to F2, F3, back of the net. And you look at points, the middle points, two and three there. Of course, Gus Ford had the game winner on Saturday night, the reigning league MVP, and uh, had a hat trick uh, on Saturday night as well. Yeah, the Carolina Ford needs to be handled quickly, and this Bobcats team is ready to do just that. Point number three, corral and clear. That's going to start with a shot on goal. The defense, the center, the left wing, right wing, everybody needs to condense, get sticks up, move bodies, make sure that puck gets somewhere safe quickly, off the glass, boom, breakout. And in a Saturday night, we talked about protecting the house. That falls into that as well. When you look at the last two goals that Carolina scored after Newberg's shorthanded goal to give the Bobcats the lead there about midway through the third, the last two goals of the game were both by Carolina and both not just off the first or the second rebound, Pastuka's was off the third rebound, Ford's was off the fourth rebound. Incumbent upon everybody in a Bobcat sweater tonight to collapse, protect the house, corral the puck, and either allow Green to control the rebound or corral it yourself and get it out of the zone. Definitely, Brett. And uh, Green is no stranger to making the first, second, third, fourth, maybe fifth, and sixth save. He's very sound fundamentally, and he makes the first save 99% of the time. Now, when there's rebounds and there's multiple shots, that's when things get a little hectic. So eliminating that early is going to be the MO tonight for the Bobcats. So those are Purdy's picks. Let's get a look at tonight's projected lineup in just a moment. We have to press buttons and, and pull levers and all those kinds of things. There we go. All right. We got the new guys in the lineup. And one of them starting. Nick McHugh, the former Kitchener Ranger of the OHL, spent four seasons with the Kitchener Rangers in the Ontario Hockey League. Uh, midway through his fourth season, he was traded uh, to the Mississauga Steelheads. But uh, somebody coming from that background as we'll pull up his, his numbers here. Now get this, McHugh had not skated for four years before he came to Blue Ridge. So he's been here for about three weeks trying to get back up to speed. He got the itch to play again. He's back, and when you look at his OHL numbers, Purdy, at the 5'11", 165-pound native of Gloucester, Ontario, who's 25 years old, skated in 205 games with Kitchener over three and a half seasons, 62 points, 35 goals, 52 assists, not afraid to mix it up either, 115 penalty minutes, and in just a half season with the Steelheads, 22 games, four goals, five assists, 21 penalty minutes, that including the playoffs. Then you look at Brendan Charlton coming straight from five years, including his COVID year of eligibility at NCAA Division III Northland College. The Lumberjacks made the postseason in all five of Charlton's seasons in his collegiate career. The six foot, 185 pound Toronto native skated in 77 games at the NCAA Division III level and played his junior hockey in the GOJ, the G-O-J-H-L, was the captain of the Thoreau Blackhawks for one of those three seasons. 123 games there, including playoffs, 82 points, 37 goals, 45 assists, and 137 penalty minutes. Two very big pickups for the Bobcats tonight. Uh, both of them playing very high level hockey. They know what to do, they know when to do it. These fellas are gonna be a welcome to this Bobcats roster that's already deep with talent. Well, let's take a look at the Bobcats stats here very quickly. You see there, 17 points out of a playoff position. The elimination number for the Bobcats, Purdy, is 11 points, meaning that there's a six-point difference, or a differential, 
of either wins or losses by Blue Ridge or wins or losses by the Mississippi Seawolves, meaning that Mississippi's magic number to clinch a playoff berth also happens to be 11 points. So with everyone else in the league idled tonight, it'd be a really good night to finally get that first win against the Carolina Thunderbirds. Definitely, I mean, turn the Jets on and put them to full blast, 110%. It's, it's do or die at this point, and the Bobcats, they, they need to hold the line here. Let's take a look at how these teams fare head-to-head -head, uh, after matching up last Friday and Saturday. You see there the differences in the goal differential. Now the power play scored three times over the weekend. Our math has it at 13%, but of course we go by what's on the league site, and that has it at 10%. Uh, the Bobcats penalty kill also added the shorthanded goal uh, over the weekend as well. We'll take a look at the total standings where the Thunderbirds sit. They can clinch home ice advantage in the first round with a victory tonight, Purdy. So not only are the Bobcats trying to stay in the playoff hunt, as there you see the 17 point difference, the Bobcats below that red line for fourth, the fourth and final playoff spot of the Continental, also trying to play spoiler against their regional rivals. Yep, there's a lot on the line for both teams tonight. Uh, they know what's at stake. They've been working towards this all year. Uh, the Bobcats know what they have to do. Take a look at our impact players for tonight's game. Of course, there's the aforementioned Gus Ford, who's got a goal and an assist per game. 36 goals, 36 assists, and 36 games played. Remember, he has about 20 games in the SPHL this season as well with the Peoria Rivermen before he came back to the Thunderbirds. And then you look at Carson Andrioli. Seven goals, six assists, 13 points in 29 games between Columbus and Blue Ridge, but his first two games as a Bobcat, two goals, two assists. He's been nothing short of a sniper every time he touches the ice. Uh, Carson Andrioli, he's, he's oh, and magical a fight. with it. I yeah. forgot about the fight. Oh, absolutely, dummy the guy as well. So, I mean, the talent is no no shortage here tonight. I'll do it for our pregame show. When we come back, we'll have player intros, starting lineups, all that fun stuff for you. On the other side, you are locked into Bobcats Hockey on this Wacky Wednesday on Bobcats TV. Bobcats are now offering season ticket lockdowns for 2024-2025 season ticket deposits. Lock down your spot in line when tickets go on sale. Current season ticket holders have first rights to positions on the list and will be able to put down their deposits beginning March 11th. New season ticket holders for 2024-25 can put their deposits down on March 25th for their place in line. Again, $50 deposits will begin being taken on March 11th starting as low as $10 per ticket and $280 for the season, plus fees. For more information, call us at 276-335-2100 or email Jenna Lewis at jlewis at blueridgebobcats.com or visit our website, www.blueridgebobcats.com. I am Hitachi. Located in Bland, Virginia, we are committed to our employees and take pride that we are the employer of choice in the region. Hitachi Energy is a global leader in the design and manufacturing of clean, oil-free transformers. We adjust and stabilize the voltage of electricity flowing through the nation's power grid. Hitachi Energy is celebrating 50 years of serving Southern Virginia. Go to HitachiEnergy.com. I am Hitachi. Hitachi, inspire the next.
through with what? Score! He did Goal! it! He Goal! did it! Score! Danny Martin at the buzzer and won it in overtime! I don't believe it! Rap special! Score! Feed on in. Drop it. What a save by Green! Here comes Danny Martin! Score! Oh, that was filthy! Drop it, Delcar shoots, SCORE! Igor! We are back inside the Apex Center alongside Ryle Purdy. I'm Brett Wiseman. Bobcats getting set to take on the regional rivals, the Carolina Thunderbirds. And the starting lineup's about to be announced, pyrotechnics included. It's gonna be exciting, Brad. Again, the Bobcats will be wearing specialty Hitachi Energy sweaters tonight. Rufus is wearing Dimitro Babenko's jersey. Nice touch. Very nice touch there. Babenko, number 21, he's got a nice jersey. Josh Newberg will be the starting center on that second line, as we told you in our pregame show. Norwinski will be one of the defensemen alongside Matt Ernst. Interesting that uh, head coach Voigt Texan Week is shaking up the deep pairs a little bit, splitting up Norwinski and Bohan and Ford and Ernst, who had been together for the last little bit. It's going to be interesting to see tonight. Uh, Norwinski is a local of the uh, Whitville area, a great addition to this blue line. But yeah, change up the lines. We'll see what happens tonight. And Danny Martin will be on the to the left of Josh Newberg. And then here comes the new guy, Nick McHugh. The former OHLer. And it'll be Connor Green in between the pipes tonight. And as we've said all along, as we look at tonight's starting goaltender, as the rest of the Bobcats will come out first. Then we'll take a look at our starting goaltenders. You look at, at Greener's numbers there, Purdy. The numbers do lie in, in this particular instance. It's the timeliness of Green's saves that have been so good. and. Of course, we know how good Mario Cavallari is, one of the best in the business. Definitely. Two very skilled goaltenders on each end. But Connor Green, he's been nothing short of a brick wall, especially on high percentage shots in the slot, where he sees a bulk of his shots from. He comes up big almost all the time, and if you do that, you give your team a chance to win. Now we'll turn to ice level and pause for our national anthem.
very spirited rendition of our national anthem on this Wednesday night. The only game in the Federal Prospects Hockey League this evening. Thank you for joining us here from inside the Apex Center. That's Ryle Birdie. I'm Brett Wiseman. Josh Newberg and John Butina, both teams captains. Well, Newberg, the acting captain in the absence of the C. Cody Oaks, will take the ceremonial puck drop tonight, presented by the factory manager of Hitachi Energy Bland, Virginia. Good to see Josh Newberg winning the first faceoff of the night. <laughs> it gets me every time you do that. I think you're serious. Entirely. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Gonna be a good night of hockey, right, Brett. Man. That it is. Mario versus Connor. Matt Ernst and Alex Norwinski, the starting defenseman. Martin McHugh and Newberg are the forwards. Carolina going with their normal starting five. Baker Ford, Keplinger up front, Kennedy Firth on the back end. Sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, a cold beverage, and enjoy this one. And a corn dog. Yeah, can't forget the corn dog. There's a near turnover right off the opening hop there as Cavalieri nearly gave it away to Martin down the near side, or the far side half wall, I should say. Dumped into the zone, delayed offside. Everybody touches back up and free from the scrum. Firth will try and break this out for the Thunderbirds. There is Ford, met quickly by two defenders. Played over to Kennedy. Joe Kennedy walks in. Oh, was he ever hit by Matt Ernst, making his presence felt early. Now ahead to Ford. He'll tip this into the zone, and he was met by McHugh. Norwinski picks this up behind the net. Carolina in the midst of a change. Bobcats were as well. Look at Ernst muscle his way up the far side half boards and dump it in. Cavalieri behind the net will trickle this on. Bioni plays it ahead. Kramer. Sends it on, Frazee with a poke check. Kramer sends it to the cross side from the red line. Salak walking down the wing to the near side. He's checked by Stephen Ford, back of the goal. This is Siolik. He's pinned up by Frazee, the former Bobcat knocked off the puck. Ford sends it up the wing, red by Salak. Salak pivots on the backhand, protects the puck, which he does so well. Using that size and that frame, sends it in front to Siolik, who is crunched by Ford behind the net. This is Kramer with a shot through the blue paint wide. Farmer unable to hold it in, and the Bobcats will swap the forwards off. 95 seconds gone by here in our opening period. No shots yet. Farmer ahead to Butita. He'll bank it ahead, checked by Andrioli. Andre Ivanov wearing number 20 in the specialty jerseys tonight. Sent that ahead, but was on his own side of the red line. So that's an icing call, and they get our first whistle with 18.09 remaining in the first period. And we're going to get our first look here at Andrioli tonight. Coming in hot, but nothing short of a sniper since his arrival here in Blue Ridge. The Bobcats tonight wearing specialty Hitachi Energy sweaters uh, produced by the fine folks of Hit Club Hockey Supply in Detroit, Michigan. With the Withville silhouette on the shoulders, the Bobcat on the front, and the Hitachi Energy logos on the arms and below the number on the back. Igor clears it out. Ivashkin picks it up at the red line, walks in, dropped off to Tattern, who shoots one wide. This is indeed held in for the moment. Now a break the other way as Norwinski tried to keep it alive. Whalen a shot. That one waffle board to the side by Green. Now played ahead Ivoshkin around Baker. What a play by Nikita to glove that out of midair. But it pinballs back to the red line. And Butita will jump it in with his team in the midst of a change. Ernst will pick it up behind the net. Wait for the breakout, wait for that last forward to hop on. That's Charlton. Martin. Charlton, the 10th forward tonight. Charlton trying to center it for Martin. Now down low, Martin in front. Newberg a shot off the goal stick of Cavalieri. Norwinski walks the wall. Out top, Charlton sends it on and deflected, I believe, by Norwinski into the catching glove of Cavalieri. 
and we get a whistle. Mario Cavalieri coming in tonight with a 9-3-2 save percentage and a 2-1-9 goals against average. Showing us right there, he can do it with the blocker and he can do it with the glove. Really good saves there. The Bobcats with two shots on that sequence. Shots 2-1 here. About 3.15 into this one. Carolina is able to clear the zone. Martin banks this ahead. Charlton for Norwinski. To his left for Martin, one on three, trying to toe drag around Kennedy. Lost the handle on it. Keplinger sends this ahead for Baker. Now to Ford, a little bit behind him. Ford able to work the, to his forehand. Toe drags through a couple defenders and then tried to wrap it around and blew a tire. Good hit by Bohan on the wall, but Kennedy now a backdoor fee looking for Keplinger was tied up. Firth out top to Kennedy once again. Down low, a shot blocked in front. Rebound, they score. Baker right on the doorstep, puts it home, and it's 1-0. Tell you what, Brett, that goal was identical to arguably two, if not three, goals from the last time these two teams met. A, a very good save by Connor Green, and just wrong place, wrong time if you're Green putting it to the other guy. But And, and you know, I don't know if that's... That's not so much on green in terms of rebound control as it is what we talked about. It's not just incumbent upon the goalie. You gotta watch everybody. I mean, you can't just let one of the leading scorers on the team walk right down the wing and corral the rebound with nobody in front of him. Yep, that's a tough bounce either way. Andrioli will send this into the zone from the line. Cavallari behind the net. Farmer up the wing, Bioni. Bioni. We'll go D to D now, Farmer chased by Andrioli. Salak was checked by Daly. Now gets it back in front of the boxes and sends it ahead to Siolik who loses an edge. Chips it out top. Farmer, that one's soccered by Frazee, I believe. Tell then at the line by Farmer. Battle for it, Kramer tried to work that away from Ford. And now Daly will pick it up. Ford behind the net. About five minutes in. I have an awful hop on. Four to leave it, he'll get off. And Igor will hop on to take his spot. Andre waiting for the control breakout. Vlasov hops on this unit as well. Delcart, stretch pass ahead looking for Ivoska, and he found him. But he was offside. 14.56 to go. Here in our first period, we've reached our first media timeout. Dawson Baker, who only assisted on the three goals from Gus Ford the other night, picks up his 27th of the season to make it 1-0 Carolina. We return after this. Hitachi. Located in Bland, Virginia, we are committed to our employees and take pride that we are the employer of choice in the region. Hitachi Energy is a global leader in the design and manufacturing of clean, oil-free transformers. We adjust and stabilize the voltage of electricity flowing through the nation's power grid. Hitachi Energy is celebrating 50 years of serving Southern Virginia. Go to HitachiEnergy.com. I am Hitachi. Hitachi, inspire the next. Back here inside the Apex Center, 14.55 to go first period, 1-0 lead for the Thunderbirds. Last shovel kit making their way off the ice. I think I know that kid. Oh yeah, those shovel kits, they do great work here at the Apex Center. I mean, you taught them, so of course you would say that. I did teach the shovel kits. And now I believe a false draw off the face off. Which way are we pointing here? They have kicked Tattern out of the dot. Hold on, a little more confusion here. Now apparently Vlasov can't take it either, so Ivoska's got to take it. It's tied up. 
in between everybody, picked up by Ivanov, and now a three on two the other way. Vlad, pass was blocked, comes behind the net, Cavallari. Tanner was unable to stick it down. And now Butita will play this ahead. Or Keeley, I should say. Ivanov will pivot, send it up the half boards. It's held in by Keeley, a shot blocked in front. I believe Green kicked that out with the pillow. Delcart behind the net for Andre. Banked ahead, Vlasov protects it on the backhand, leaves it for Tatter. nice play. Tatter walks in, trying to toe drag. Good defensive play by the newest Thunderbird, Chris Bayer. Norwinski with a poke at the line to keep the play alive, but he's knocked off it by Keeley. Newberg was offside. So the Bobcats will have to touch back up. Big hit right there on Bayer as he dumps it in. Board hit by Norwinski who loses an edge. And now to the far side corner it comes Baker. Pass too hot for Kennedy to handle between the defensemen. And Cavallari will very carefully play this behind the net. McHugh throws his weight around. Surprised Firth a little bit. McHugh trying to bank it out. Top pocket was picked by Ford. Ford enters the zone. Ernst gave him a rough ride. Keplinger's pocket picked by Newberg. Now Newberg ahead looking for Martin. Now it's sent back down low for Keplinger. Overskated the puck picked up by Ernst. Banked off the glass. McHugh dropped to a knee. Baker walks the line out top. It comes out of the zone as Martin didn't give him a whole lot of room. Martin tips the pass, and now it's brought ahead by Bohan and dumped in. Allowing the forwards to change. D to D pass will be taken by Firth. He's hit by Frazee. Baker for <laughs> Ford. He'll send it off the end boards on purpose. And Kramer with a backhander that was stopped by Green. Jammed up along the far side half boards. Daly able to shove it out. Bioni at the red line. Got it from Salak. Dumped it in. The dump was deflected partially. Ivanov will pick it up. He'll go D to D to Ford. Ford checked by Salak. Puck comes out of the zone. Ford will try and tie Salak up. Daly will pivot. Poke checked by Siolik. Now he'll sashay it around Kramer. All the way around it comes Ford. Try and break things out here. Eight minutes gone by, first period. One nothing, Thunderbirds. Frazee able to work his way around Salak. Now Daly takes the hit to make the play. Frazee a shot, Cavallari shut it down. There was room between the pillows, but Cavallari shut it down just in time. Joel. Frustrated after that one, he saw the opening there. Mario Cavalieri, a very skillful goaltender, closed it as fast as it was there, it was gone. Great shot, better save, that's what I like to say. Off the tie up on the draw, Gordon Whalen sends this around, Keeley ahead. Delcart tried to keep it alive, could not on the pinch. Now Keeley's worked off it by Ivochkin. Ivanov sends it ahead, Tattern looking for Delcart. And dumped back in off the skate of Ivanov. And Tattern at the red line sends it ahead looking for Ivoskin. Cavallari out of his net to play it. He'll send it around. Keeley was met by Vlasov. That hit the skate of the referee. And now picked up by Ivoskin. He'll try the wrap and it's shut down. The Ivoskin special was shut down. We've seen that work a number of times here at home and on the road since he was acquired from Binghamton about a month ago. Martin digs this out of the scrum along the wall, races through the neutral zone. Martin across the line, delays, trying to go back door for Ivoskin. He'll pick it up on the redirect. Ertz to shot, tipped by Newberg, centered in front and cleared out by Carolina. It's that pinballed off a couple of bodies. Keplinger with a tip, back into the zone it comes, Ernst. Norwinski sends this ahead between the skates of Keplinger and Cavallari had left his net and that nullified the icing. He tried to step back in real quickly but uh, he was already far enough out as it's dumped back in.
Shots are 5-3 Bobcats so far, but they trail 1-0. Ford head to Baker. He was checked, picked up by Frazee. Charlton. Daly didn't expect him to slam up along the half board, so it's a delayed offside, and that thwarts the entry. Got to get that puck deep if you're Charlton, Purdy. Definitely. Dump it deep, F1, go hard. Bioni goes D to D, Farmer out top, down low, Seolik tipped in front. Kramer with a shot that was stopped. Now Salak behind the net. Net nearly came off its mooring. Salak pivoting on Frazee, protecting the puck. Salak putting on a clinic here, trying to send it down low. Finally corralled by the Bobcats. Andrioli was hit by Seolik. Now Salak will drop it back, and it's sent ahead. Kramer hit by Ivanov. Green behind the net will stop the speed of this one. And now Igor plays it ahead. Daly. Leaves it, Andrioli tripped up. Call coming, there's the whistle. 8.56 to go, first period. We'll have our first Hitachi Energy power play of Hitachi Energy night when we return after these messages. Located in Bland, Virginia, we are committed to our employees and take pride that we are the employer of choice in the region. Hitachi Energy is a global leader in the design and manufacturing of clean, oil-free transformers. We adjust and stabilize the voltage of electricity flowing through the nation's power grid. Hitachi Energy is celebrating 50 years of serving Southern Virginia. Go to HitachiEnergy.com. I am Hitachi. Hitachi, inspire the next. Back here inside the Apex Center alongside Ryle Purdy. I'm Brett Wiseman as the infamous LCB crew gets their nightly penalty box selfie with the guilty party of the opposition. Always good to see the LCB crew out and about causing havoc in the Apex Center. Keplinger two for tripping at 13.04. Flash off to Daly, he was checked. Now, able to muscle it out of the zone. Blast off. Bohan trickles it into the zone. Now Farmer will pivot and send it out. Green will handle this to his glove side and give it to Bohan. Bohan with the Euro drop. Tattern leaves it. Andrioli. Thunderbird set up at the line. Andrioli nearly got past all of them, but he was checked. Tattered will play this in his own end. Newberg trying to dangle around Butita. He'll dump it in. Cavallari behind the net. Dangerous play. Stuck up in the zone, and Salak able to clear. Now with the first minute gone on this first Hitachi Energy power play of Hitachi Energy Night. That's a lot of Hitachis. Martin will maneuver his way on through, send it down low. Norwinski was tied up, and a penalty coming up on Firth. Oh, can't do that. Two for interference on Firth. So the Bobcats will have 35 seconds of five on three time here. The last time these two teams met, the Bobcats had a very successful special teams, scoring two on the power play and one shorthanded. They'll look to recreate some magic like last time tonight. It's 
Someone we know very well has joined the broadcast for this five on three, just in time, I might add. Hi, Cody Oaks. <laughs> How is everyone today? Got a, got a good power play coming up, so real excited about that. Our power play has been doing well the last few games, so hopefully they make something happen here, right? Let's hope so. Trying to go back door there was Andrioli for Daly. 20 seconds left to five on three. Bohan for Tattern. Down low, Andrioli trying to go back door again. Bohan with the pickup. Tattern, one timer. Oh boy, Schnapp with the block. Daly was open on the far side, but the pass was too hot to handle. Dug out by Vlasov. Tried to send it in front, blocked. Cleared by Ford, and now Keplinger stumbles on his way out of the box. Looks like uh, good old Keplinger forgot his stick in the box before he wanted to leave, so. <laughs> Can't forget that. <laughs> no, you might need that. I mean, he, he, he'll still be pretty good without it, but good play by Danny. On the dump, it's picked up now by Ivashkin. Out top, Norwinski the bank. Picked up by Farmer and cleared with 55 seconds left of power play time on the first interference penalty. Got some good looks on the two-man advantage, but Passing lanes just weren't open. Struggling here, really fun to watch this kid, man. He, uh, he just takes the puck to the net somehow. He, he's he been a great pickup for us so far, and having Nikita around has been nothing but great, so. Charlton knocked off it, Salak tied him up. Ivoskin eventually muscles it away from him. Now Farmer will play this around, and the slap clear by Kennedy, just over top of the net. That was a missile. That it was. Igor nearly knocked off it by Kepler. Now Ford the pickup. That's on side somehow. Didn't look like Kepler got his right skate back in time, but it's an onside play. Delcart trying to clear. Firth is free. Now a stretch feed ahead. Frazee. Here comes Joel on the backhand. Shoveled it just wide. Was trying to find Daly as the trailer. Now Daly will muscle it around. Daly waiting down low. Andrioli oh. tipped it just wide. Man, this line, ever since Carson, we got Carson from Columbus, man, this line has been just unbelievable. It Keely behind the net. Buzzing's the operative word on that one, I would say. Bioni ahead, tipped into the zone by Baker. Green will leave it. Delcart. Andrioli tips it on. Frazee knocks it over to Vlad. Vlad the fake sends it behind the net, got tied up by an opponent and an official. And it comes back the other way. Ernst Norwinski, stretch feet ahead, Vlad. Nice touch to Nikita. Ivoskin trying to toe drag. Glass off, worked off it on the far side half boards and chipped out by Schnapp. Norwinski will beat him to it, back for Ernst. Ernst sends it ahead, Ivoskin for Vlasov. Boy, these two have really had some kind of connection since they got on the same line. And an icing call on Carolina. We'll hey, keep it here uh, on the media timeout. It's followed in through living too, trust me. Those two are uh, very inseparable when it comes to the house and they're always together. But I guess if uh, you can only understand a few guys, uh, I guess you'll get very close with the ones you can speak with, right? Uh, chemistry on and off the ice. I don't know, so, sometimes it's hard to understand what you say too, Cody. <laughs> brother, brother, that's why we're playing the sport we're playing right now, okay? Uh, haven't found a valid career yet, but uh, hopefully uh, an astrophysicist or like a- uh, NASA, yeah, something? No, you know, we're gonna shoot high here and we're gonna hope for the best. You know? Yeah. That's right, that's right. Speaking of uh, high aspirations, it's somebody's birthday. Oh, good old, she's probably listening in. She's, she's uh, gotta be, man. She's the wild one in the family. Uh, good old happy birthday to Mama Oaks. Um, shout out to her for uh, still taking care of me at 27, safe to say, and uh, she'll be with me for a lot longer, so. That's awesome, go mom. Go, go mom. Go man. Mama Oaks. Uh, there's another birthday too, actually. Rachel Arthur, turning X amount years old. <laughs> Looks 21, that's what I was Good told. Good old 21, yep. okay. There you go. Stick with that, yep. you'll be fine. <laughs> Happy birthday, Rachel. Well, Cody, as much as we'd love to see you out there in those gorgeous sweaters tonight, thanks for 
hopping up here and spending a few minutes with us. No, man, it was good being up here and stuff, and I like being with you guys. And yeah, well, uh, shout out to Hitachi Energy for these ones, all right? Okay. These are nice. You guys have a good rest of your night. Thanks, Thanks Cody. Thanks for coming, Cody. You guys are the best, thank you. Back to action, about four minutes to go here in period number one. Schnapp the dump in. Goal stick to side by his fellow Floridian Green, and then Schnapp sends Ford flying. Centering pass, Keeley was tied up by Ivoskin. Firth the shot, pillow save made by Green. And Ivoskin will pick it up behind the net, send it on, blasts off, banks it ahead. Ivoskin tied up from behind. Boy, was he given a rough ride by Keeley, and now hoisted in by Ford. Firth behind the net for Butsita. He was checked by Martin. Norwinski sends it on. Nearly too many men right there on Carolina, but not a clean enough touch to get the penalty call. Norwinski dangles around a defender and backhands it behind the net. Cavallari was nearly pickpocketed by McHugh. Sent up and out, picked up by Kramer. Ernst is defending him. One-timer, Salak missed everything. McHugh. Nice play ahead for Ernst. Martin stays on side. Ernst protects it down the boards. Checked off it by Salak. Martin and Ernst digging away at it. Multi-man curly match pops out to Firth. Firth delays, finds a man that's Kennedy. He's checked by Newberg. Kennedy now down below the goal line. Forced off it by Ernst, comes free to Kramer. Kramer along the half wall, intercepted by Newberg. And Newberg will backhand this ahead. Whalen will dump it in as he and Newberg met each other. Delcart, stretch feet ahead. Frazee was checked by Keeley, and that's offside with 2.25 remaining. Shot 6-5, Bobcats here with 2.24 now remaining in period number one. Tell you what, I like this Frazee, Daly, Andrioli line. A lot of good skill on this line. Good passing, really good passers and good shooters as well. Clay Keeley muscles his way through the zone. Down low, checked by Ivanov. Igor comes in for assistance. Up the near side half wall, Daly with a sweep, couldn't get it out. Ford on the pickup. Walks out top. Stick handles around Andrioli. Shot, and Connor Green stared him right down and made the glove save. That was a decisive glove save at that. Stared it all the way into the mesh. I'm not going to say that's a message sender or anything like that, but... I mean, that establishes... He's saying, he's saying you may be able to hit every button on the controller, but uh, I played my fair share of goalie mode in Chell, so Precisely. I know what I'm doing too. Another one off the glove of Green. He's off lasered. the stick of Ford. Uh, dump. Ivoshkin works it away from Whalen. Sends it out top, Ford. Keeps it alive, Ivoshkin poke checked. Now for Keplinger. Behind Baker, and now behind the net, Tatter will send it up and around. Picked up by Ivoshkin, a minute 18 left. As Baker was given a rough ride behind the play, Ivoshkin fights through contact. Knocked off it, trying to center it. Pinball's off the back of the cage. Farmer. For Ford, checked by Vlasov. Now Ivoshkin was knocked off it, off the glass and out. Ernst, head up, looking for a partner to find it too. Bioni intercepted it, Schnapp with 45 seconds left in the fast moving first period. Now here's Bioni. Bioni down low, trying to center. Oh, was he ever clobbered by Norwinski. Now a shot from the point was deflected wide. Keeley couldn't keep it alive. Schnapp does as he and Charlton battle. Newberg behind the net, 25 seconds. On to Martin. Martin chips this around Farmer. 
Martin, slap pass, looking for Charlton a bit high. 15 seconds, Newberg keeps it alive for the moment, comes on goal, and Cavalieri will melt it down. With 10.3 remaining. Tell you what, that puck pinballed on the way to the net. Cavalieri outstretched with the blocker. Almost had to come up big. Luckily, that bounced maybe six to eight inches above the net. Shots by our counter now even at eight. A lot of physicality that last shift as well. Baker running into Zach Tattered, the big rig behind the net. Eight seconds. Kramer, despite the best efforts of Andrioli, able to clear a shot by Salak is blocked with two with one, and that will do it. Salak missed the field goal on that one. As Andrioli and Siolik are having words. Chris Siolik, the Orchard Park organizer. In the opposing colored jersey tonight as he's been sent over to Carolina. Good well, Purdy. Having some success over there too. He's yeah. made his way up the line, the depth charts. Yeah, he's, he's worked hard over there. Got to be happy for him. Definitely, he's a hardworking guy. And for Andrioli to say, hey, you want some? Chris, he very well may take him up on that. Well, Purdy, thoughts on that first period? A lot of physicality. Ford on Ford, both Fords were doing great. However, I think ours was doing a little better. Connor Green negated him when it needed to be done. I mean, all the Purdy picks were pretty much spot on. The scoreboard doesn't necessarily display what went on this first period. There's a lot more to take out of it. A lot of really good passes, really good mental connections at that. The Euros showing they have this sort of telepathy between them. Right. They can speak without speaking. The puck just ends up on one stick and then the other stick and back and forth and back and forth. It always seems to be tape to tape with them too. Yeah, very talented. Good to see him out here having success early. We'll look to see him recreate that in the second period and maybe tuck one in the back of the net on Cavalier. Shots 8-8 eight, eight after one. Our score is 1-0 Thunderbirds after the opening 20 minutes of play. We will take a timeout. We'll hear from our sponsors. We'll tell you what's to come in the Federal Prospects Hockey League this weekend when we check our out-of-town scoreboard. There's a lot of happenings around the sports world as well to tell you about. We may be the only game in the FPHL, but three games in the National Hockey League to tell you about. And of course, it's March, so there's not only NCAA tournament action, but a game taking place across the parking lot from the Thunderbirds home rink in the NIT between Wake Forest and yours truly's alma mater, Appalachian State University. Not Appalachian. Thank you. Thank you for pronouncing it correctly. Appalachia. Thank you. Good job. Very proud of you. Thank you. We'll check on those games and take you back through the first period as well. One nothing birds after one. We'll take a timeout, catch our breath, replenish our water supply, and come on back. Take you back through that first period. One nothing after one. Back after this. Bobcats are now offering season ticket lockdowns for 2024-2025 season ticket deposits. Lock down your spot in line when tickets go on sale. Current season ticket holders have first right to positions on the list and will be able to put down their deposits beginning March 11th. New season ticket holders for 2024-25 can put their deposits down on March 25th for their place in line. Again, $50 deposits will begin being taken on March 11th starting as low as $10 per ticket and $280 for the season, plus fees. 
For more information, call us at 276-335-2100 or email Jenna Lewis at jlewis at blueridgebobcats.com or visit... I am Hitachi. Hitachi. Located in Bland, Virginia, we are committed to our employees and take pride that we are the employer of choice in the region. Hitachi Energy is a global leader in the design and manufacturing of clean, oil-free transformers. We adjust and stabilize the voltage of electricity flowing through the nation's power grid. Hitachi Energy is celebrating 50 years of serving Southern Virginia. Go to HitachiEnergy.com. I am Hitachi. Hitachi, inspire the next. The inaugural season of Blue Ridge Bobcats Hockey is brought to you by Dutch Miller Nissan of Withville. At Dutch Miller Nissan of Withville, you'll always get the best price on a brand new Nissan. From the sleek design of the Altima, to the off-road power of the Titan, to the ever-versatile Rogue. New inventory is arriving weekly. Check us out at DutchMillerNissanOfWithville.com or stop by Dutch Miller anytime during business hours to test drive a Nissan and experience for yourself why Nissan has the innovation that excites. Imagine a place where small moments can lead to a life-changing impact. Where each interaction builds trust and sight. Where expertise leads to clarity. Where a small act of kindness can make all the difference. Vistar Eye Center. Putting you in focus. Hey guys, it's Colin down here at Dutch Miller Nissan of Withville, and I just noticed something terrible today in Withville. A lot of you are missing a very important part on your car that could be saving you thousands and losing you thousands if you don't have it. If you look right here, this is a Dutch Miller Nissan of Withville sticker. What that sticker means is a lot more than any other sticker. We have the widest selection of inventory, so you can find the perfect vehicle for you. Whether pre-owned or new, we have it here at Dutch Mill. The Sobe Law Firm and Michael J. Sobe, attorney at law, have been serving the people of Wythe County in Southwest Virginia for 25 years. With experience in both criminal and family law, Michael J. Sobe is here to serve you and meet your individual needs. Located on Main Street in Rural Retreat, call 276 686 6155 to schedule an appointment today. Mention the Bobcats and your consultation is absolutely free. That's right. Mention the Bobcats and your consultation is free. That number again, 276 686 6155. Sobe Law Firm, he'll help you out. Is winter weather taking a toll on your car's shine? Then pay a visit to Mountain Edge Car Wash. Located between Sheets and Bojangles off I-81 at exit 70, Mountain Edge offers a variety of washes for all vehicle types. Choose from simple washes like Base Camp and The Ascent to deluxe washes like The Scream, The Ridge, and The Summit. Premium washes include the Avalanche Ceramic Shield and a trip through Mountain Edge Falls. All washes feature tire shine, bug prep, and rain repellent, plus always free vacuums. Also ask about an unlimited wash membership with plans starting at just $19.99. Visit them today at 200 East Commonwealth Drive in Withville or online at mountainedgecarwash.com. Personal relationship with our service advisors down here at Dutch Miller. They're with you all the time, 100%, and they keep your car and your mentality in perfect health. And behind the scenes, our service techs are hard at work making sure not only your personal vehicles, but all of our inventory in there is in perfect condition. They work tirelessly to get you the best. Here on the sales floor, our sales team is working tirelessly to make sure you have the perfect vehicle for you. They're constantly at their computers finding the perfect features, price, and size vehicles for you. So fix the problem your car has today. Get the Dutch Miller sticker, get better service, better care, and better quality out of your car. Come see me, Colin Ward, at Dutch Miller Nissan today to get the best deals and save yourself thousands of dollars down the road. 
The Blue Ridge Bobcats are proud to announce the grand opening of the Bobcats Beer Garden. Located behind Section 109 at the Apex Center and now open for all Bobcats home games. The Bobcats Beer Garden offers a wide variety of options, including old favorites and new beverage options that you're sure to enjoy. The Bobcats Beer Garden is the perfect place to gather with friends during the game and drink the coldest beverages around while you enjoy the coolest game on earth. Looking to own the finest Bobcat swag in all the land? There's only one place to go, The Den at the Apex Center. The Den offers a full assortment of Bobcats merchandise, including hats, t-shirts, beanies, jackets, hoodies, jerseys, game memorabilia, cups, and so much more. With prices affordable for all ages, sizes, and families, you'll be sure to gear up at the right place. Visit the Den during business hours or on game nights. Looking for a fun, new, and exciting outing for your group? Look no further than the Blue Ridge Bobcats. Professional hockey is here in the Blue Ridge Mountains, and the Blue Ridge Bobcats are offering special ticket packages, perfect for business outings, church groups, and so many more. Grab your friends, grab your coworkers, and experience the fun, fast-paced action of pro hockey. Call Jenna Lewis at 276-335-2100 or email Jenna at jlewis at blueridgebobcats.com to secure your group ticket package today. Hey guys, what's up? It's Colin down here at Dutch Miller Nissan of Whitville right in front of America's own truck. Designed in California, engineered in Michigan, and assembled in Mississippi, the Nissan Titan. What makes this such a great truck is not just its reliability, safety, and cost efficiency, it's also some of the amazing features I'm about to show you right now. This SV Nissan Titan has a 5.6 liter V8 engine, a 9 speed transmission, and boasts a strong 400 horsepower. Wow! Putting yourself in the driver's seat can be stressful, but not with the Nissan Titan. It makes it as easy and as comfortable as possible. Boasting hands-free text-to-talk, cruise control, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, dual temperature zones, and heated seats. It also boasts power seating, power... Hey Bobcats fans, it's Johnny with Odell's Landscape and Lawn Care. Give us a call, 540-392-5052 or www.odellslawncare.com for all your landscape and lawn care needs. Uh, we are official sponsor and supporters of the Blue Ridge Bobcats. And as always, go Bobcats! Hey Bobcats fans, this is Clay Bush of 103 Towing and Recovery. I just want to take a second to remind you to please slow down and move over when you see flashing lights while working on the side of the road. For all your light duty towing needs in Whitfield, please remember 276-613-0997. And if you have youth and interested in playing hockey, please check out the Blue Ridge Youth Hockey Association on Facebook. Thank you. Go Bobcats. Stop by and take a look at the 2024 Titan. This vehicle is powered by a four-wheel drive, eight-cylinder, 5.6-liter engine, and comes with a nine-speed automatic transmission. Here are some of this vehicle's great options. Power windows with safety reverse, cargo bed light, LED, traction control, stability control, front suspension type, strut, front suspension type, double wishbones, power brakes, braking assist. Inside you'll find rear view camera, driver attention alert system, airbags, front knee, audio radio, touch screen display, electronic messaging assistance with read function, electronic messaging assistance with voice recognition, Nissan Connect, satellite communications. Want to go somewhere amazing? Nice, right? But we're not there yet. Not this either. Still not it. Finding the next epic place isn't the point. In a Nissan Pathfinder, the search is the adventure.
welcome you back inside the Apex Center. one nothing Thunderbirds after one period of play. Let's take you back through the first period of play. Couple of penalties, one goal on the board. All of those going in the category of the Carolina Thunderbirds. The goal at 353 from Dawson Baker. Assisted by Ford and Keplinger. Made it one nothing Thunderbirds. Bobcats though, played pretty solid defensively. Both teams just eight shots through that first period of play. Bobcats though were held shotless for the 15.45 mark on for the last four minutes and 15 seconds of that second period, but they also held Carolina shotless for the last minute 54 of that first period. The two penalties were on Josh Keplinger for tripping at 11.04, and with 35 seconds left remaining on that minor, Tucker Firth committed an interference penalty. The Bobcats had 35 seconds of five on three time, had a couple of shots on that five on three, but unable to convert, and that's where we stand, one nothing after one. We're gonna take another quick timeout, and then we'll take you around our out of town scoreboard. Tell you what's to come in the FPHL this weekend. Check in on the three NHL games tonight, and of course it's March, so we'll check in on what's happening in March Madness tonight. One nothing, Thunderbirds after one, back right after that. Hitachi. Located in Bland, Virginia, we are committed to our employees and take pride that we are the employer of choice in the region. Hitachi Energy is a global leader in the design and manufacturing of clean, oil-free transformers. We adjust and stabilize the voltage of electricity flowing through the nation's power grid. Hitachi Energy is celebrating 50 years of serving Southern Virginia. Go to HitachiEnergy.com. I am Hitachi. Hitachi, inspire the next. The inaugural season of Blue Ridge Bobcats hockey is brought to you by Dutch Miller Nissan of Withville. At Dutch Miller Nissan of Withville, you'll always get the best price on a brand new Nissan. From the sleek design of the Altima, to the off-road power of the Titan, to the ever-versatile Rogue. New inventory is arriving weekly. Check us out at DutchMillerNissanOfWithville.com or stop by Dutch Miller anytime during business hours to test drive a Nissan and experience for yourself why Nissan has the innovation that excites. Back here inside the Apex Center alongside Ryle Purdy. I'm Brett Wiseman. What's to come in the FPHL this weekend, you ask, as playoff positioning's up for grabs. The Watertown Wolves are just a handful of points back of the Elmira River Sharks in the battle for the final fourth and final playoff spot in the Empire Division. Watertown visits their in-state rivals, the Binghamton Black Bears, at seven o'clock on Friday night. Elmira travels a little bit further north towards the Canadian border, miles away from it. They'll face the Port Huron Prowlers at 7.05 on Friday night. The Thunderbirds will host the Baton Rouge Zydeco at 7.35, and the Columbus River Dragons in first place in the Continental Division will host the Motor City Rockers who are chasing Binghamton from second to first in the Empire Division. Of course, your Bobcats back at home here Friday night. Hosting the defending Commissioner's Cup champion Danbury Hattricks on Friday night. The three games in the NHL right now, one in progress, two to come or two in progress, one to come. Maple Leafs leading the Washington Capitals, one nothing at the first intermission. Coyotes and Stars scoreless halfway into the first period. Minnesota and Los Angeles, a major Western Conference wild card matchup coming up at 10 o'clock tonight. In the NCAA tournament, the first four concluding tonight. 16 seeds Grambling and Montana State battling for the right to move on. 
Grambling leading Montana State 60 to 59 with five and a half to go in the ball game. Colorado and Boise State are the nightcap from Dayton, Ohio. Next door across the parking lot from where the Thunderbirds call home is the LJVM Coliseum in Winston-Salem where Wake Forest is hosting Appalachian State in the NIT. App State at eight seed, my alma mater. Wake Forest, the one seed, currently leading the Mountaineers by five, 20 to 15, about halfway through the first half. A lot of happenings this evening. We may be the only game in the Fed, but there's still a lot to talk about. You betcha. Looking for an exciting second period here. The stage is set. Ford on Newberg. Ford, the centerman, will take the draw opposite Newberg. Newberg will be tied up on it. I'm going to call that an even draw. And the pot free to Kennedy. He'll dump it in. Was he on his own side of the red? Yes, but it was tipped on its way through, so no icing. Set up the half boards. Newberg off the stick of Baker and then kicked back into the zone by Ernst. Keplinger for Ford. Or dumps it in. Ernst on the cross side chase. Sends it up the near side half boards. Martin had it stuck up in his skates. Now Norwinski off the back of Keplinger. Muscled it ahead. McHugh works his way in. Checked off the puck. Ford pivots on McHugh. Nice defensive play by McHugh. And now Ford will corral it and dump it back in. Get off for a change. Stephen Ford. He'll catch Carolina in it. Norwinski, he'll shoot it wide. Bounces off the back of the cage and picked up now by Whalen. Schnapp sends it ahead. Bohan on the intercept. Ahead for Daly. Three on two developing. Daly, chip play. Picked off by Keeley as Whalen had walled off for AZ. Up the half boards to Schnapp. Too far for Butita, but he'll chip it around Daly and in. Bohan. Around the wall, Schnapp. Out top, Keeley. Down low, Butsita. On the near side corner, pass hit a skate. Butsita picks it back up, trying to center for Schnapp. Held in by Keeley, a shot. That one blocker to side. Green, able to get eyes on it, waffle board it to the side. Keeley walks the line, trying to go D to D. Whalen intercepted. Frazee is in all alone. Score! Joel Frazee, we are tied. I had a feeling this, this line was going to have some success tonight. Joel Frazee leading the charge, setting the tone. A big goal for the Michigan native. The goal for Frazee, his eighth. His third in as many games. Bobcats tied up. A little over two minutes into the second period. We got a brand new hockey game. Kramer around, intercepted by Tattern. Checked by Salaki, tried to go down low. And now Carolina will clear it. Will it go far enough for icing? No, Green will set it aside for Ivanov, who dangles around one. Now plays it over to Tanner, chipped up the wing. Ivashkin cleared out by Carolina. Apex center crowd back into this with a tie hockey game. Igor ahead to Vlad, he'll tip it into the zone. Cavalieri behind the net as Ivashkin was tripped up. Now Siolik ahead for Salak around Delcart. Newberg on the recovery. We'll send it back into the zone. Farmer will have to recover this as the Bobcats changing forwards. Farmer sends it up the wing off the skate of Keplinger, so no icing. Ernst behind his own net. We'll watch and wait and try and start the breakout. He'll go D to D, Norwinski. Norwinski around a defender. Martin trying to go back for him off a skate. Now Firth on the far side. 
Knocked off it by Newberg. Kennedy ahead. Martin read that, picked it off. Trying to fight around Kennedy, could not. Now Kennedy, as Ford runs a little bit of interference there on Newberg, Kennedy fights down low past the check of Ernst. Kennedy hit from behind by Ernst, tried to send it on goal. That was blocked. Kennedy sends it up the wall. Keplinger hit by Ernst. Multi-man scrum, Ford dug it out. Newberg able to get it up to Charlton and out. Martin sashays around Firth. Sends it down the half boards behind the net. Firth on the intercepts. What a hit right there by Charlton. Oh, goodness. From NCAA D3, showing that college hockey can be physical. There's a knock on NCAA hockey that it's not as physical, and I think Charlton just proved that it very much is. Especially Northland College, the uh, conference they play in, a very physical conference at that. Keplinger. Out top, toe drag, shot, score. It looked like that one may have hit a stick in front. Tough bounce for the Bobcats. And Keplinger will get credit for it for now. But yeah, Purdy, I think you're right. That hit off something in front, changed direction. There was a lot of traffic in front of the net, but Green looked like he had a good read on it until it changed direction and beat him over top of the shoulder to the glove side. Green's not one to miss, miss a glove side opportunity. That glove hand normally very, very strong. Definitely. He's shown it tonight, but... That one changed direction at the last second. Keeley was knocked off it. Now Butita down low. Keeley was checked. Butita down low. Keeley centers. Picked off by Andrioli. Andrioli speeds ahead, dumps it in. Cavalieri behind his net will play it. Butita holding up daily. Now a four man scrum out to the point. D to D, Igor, he'll walk in, shoot, and a save made by Cavalieri. That's the... exactly how it's drawn up. F1, Daly, pass the puck up, gets to the point, across, shot on goal with traffic, just not enough traffic to take away Cavalieri's eyes. Either way, exactly how that play is drawn. Yeah, one screen from Frazee, not quite enough. Need a little bit more of that net front presence if you're gonna get more than one past Cavalieri. 14.43 to go here in our second period. Two goals in this second period so far. That's the good news. The bad news is one of them came from the opposition. 2-1, we're back after this. It's, so there's two camps to that. There's either the- We're back. All right, I'll just keep breaking yeah, it just down. Just keep going, yeah. yeah. Break <laughs> so down that last goal. There's two camps to the goaltending side of that last goal. You've either got the attack it, put your hand out in front of you, project it, and save it and see it, or make a blocking save where your arm is down and you're moving your shoulder into that puck. Either way, you can go either way with it, but Green, he likes to opt for that projected hand or projected blocker and make that save in front of his eyes rather than waiting for the puck to come to you. Ford will go D to D now. Bohan sends it on, tip just wide. Frazee nearly had his second of the night. Siolik crunched by Bohan. 
Jammed up along the boards and tipped just wide off the pad of Cavallari. Ford sent it on. Goal stick to side by Cavallari. And now Salak able to escape the pressure. Dropped it. Seolik waiting. Pass deflected. Green swept it aside with the goal stick after it went off the skate of Salak. Now Kramer down low. Seolik checked by Bohan. Pinballing puck. Daly unable to clear. Keeley hit by Daly. Down low, Bohan and Seolik battling. One on one scrum, make that two on two as Seolik or Salak and Stephen Ford enter the fray. Seolik still has it and still it's tied up. Bohan looking behind him for some support here. Jammed up along the half wall, elongated scrum. Salak plays it out, Keplinger now a shot wide. Rebound was there and thrown through the blue paint. Daly will hoist this ahead, gloved down by Baker and fought off of a forechecking phrase E. Baker knocked off it, now numbers the other way. McHugh speeds after it. Cavallari sends it up the wall. Keplinger unable to clear for the moment. Popped up into midair, gloved down by Bayer. Newberg pins a man up behind the net. McHugh trying to dig this out of the scrum. He was tied up. Near hooking call, but they let it go. Martin holds it in at the point. Seven minutes gone by, second period. Keeley will wait behind the net here. The fans are getting loud. And now Martin was checked, and now it's worked back ahead by four, three on two. Keplinger. Pass was blocked and now numbers the other way for the Bobcats. Martin with McHugh. Martin shoots, missed just high. Oh, there was room up top. Tattern sent it back down low. Now Baker on the half boards. Norwinski on the intercept, backhands it ahead. Kennedy behind the net. Will slam on the brakes, pivot, try and start the breakout. Baker, set by Ivashkin and Bayer in his own end, will leave this for Kennedy. Kennedy dumps it into the zone. Green settles it. Delcart behind the net. Checked by Ford. Baker trying to center and picked up now by Ivashkin. Ivashkin dumps this into the zone. Cavallari forced to play it and forced to hang on to it. Boy, really, really high IQ play right there by Nikita Ivashkin. Exactly how he draws it up every time. Ivashkin, he was the F1 there on his own dump in, putting it on goal where he can give his team a chance to change and put fresh legs out there. A phrase line hops back out. And a false draw on the face off. Tell you what, I love this line out there, Brett. A lot of really good passes coming from this line. Firth off the draw, sends it ahead, not out yet. Ivanov to Frazee, shoots, ooh, missed just high. Daly holds it in. Andrioli along the wall, four-man scrum. Dug out, Igor, D to D, Andre. Ivanov trying to send it to the back door, but that was blocked by Butsita. Now Schnapp will speed ahead. Schnapp a shot, he scores. Off the glove of Green and into the back of the net. Green checking that glove for a hole. Schnapp throwing some mustard on that one. Just snuck past Greener there. Now to make it a 3-1 ball game. Or hockey game, I should say. A lot of time left on the clock. 11-17 remaining. Bohan backhands it into the zone. Farmer hit by Newberg. Charlton, his pass was picked off and now Bioni will move on ahead around Ford. Bioni walks in, waits. 
backdoor feed, tipped wide. And now numbers the other way for the Bobcats. Charlton, as Ford was tripped up from behind. Along the half boards, pops out of the zone. Charlton plays it back to Norwinski. Now to Charlton. He'll hoist it in. Martin, the lone four checker. Bioni will bank it D to D for Farmer. Up the half boards, Kramer. Cross size feed too far for Bioni. Norwinski banks it off the glass over the stick of Martin. Now Farmer sends it on. And Kramer will slap dump this in. Norwinski sends it ahead. Blasts off. Trying to leave that for Tattern. Delayed offside. Everybody touches back up. Halfway through our middle frame. 3-1 Carolina. Norwinski on the intercept of the neutral zone. Sends it ahead. Blasts off checked by Keeley. And now it's worked free by Keplinger. He'll wait, he'll shoot. Green shut it down with the pad. Really good save there by Green. On a quick developing chance. Ivoshkin chasing after the loose puck. Whalen sends it around. Vlasov and Baker battling. Delcart holds it in. Delcart a shot, tipped on goal by Ivoshkin. And a glove save made by Cavallari. 9.32 left here in period two. It's 3-1 Thunderbirds. We're back after this. Located in Bland, Virginia, we are committed to our employees and take pride that we are the employer of choice in the region. Hitachi Energy is a global leader in the design and manufacturing of clean, oil-free transformers. We adjust and stabilize the voltage of electricity flowing through the nation's power grid. Hitachi Energy is celebrating 50 years of serving Southern Virginia. Go to HitachiEnergy.com. I am Hitachi. Hitachi, inspire the next. Back here inside the Apex Center, alongside Ryle Purdy, I'm Brett Wiseman, as you gotta look there for a moment at Christian Pavlos on the bench. Good looking guy tonight, holy smokes. Looks good in the suit. Hey, he cleans up well, doesn't he? Yes, he does. This is his first official game as the Bobcats' second assistant coach. Good to see Christian Pavlos doing his thing. He's a great resource for the community, especially the kids with the Pavlos Goalie Factory. Great to see him on the bench though. Martin looking down the wall for Newberg. It's picked up by Ford. Now Martin lost a handle on the bit. He was checked by Kennedy, who sends McHugh flying. Ernst on the pinch. Keplinger held up from behind. Four man scrum, Ernst knocked it away for the moment. Now Kennedy fighting around Martin. And now he'll have to backtrack. Sends it on, Keplinger will dump it in. Green settles this for McHugh. Ernst, off the wall, Norwinski. Pass was read by Butita and picked off, trying to go back door for Baker. Baker hops back on it to the point. Firth, toe drag shot, deflected in front. Comes to the far side corner, Butita cycles it low and Norwinski will pick this up. Norwinski for Martin. Martin chipped it over, looked like it was high sticked by Butita, but it was touched by Norwinski. So that nullifies that. Schnock to the cross side. Coming around trying to play his own dump was met by Delcart. Norwinski, bank feed up the wing, Vlasov. Around Schnapp, ahead for Ivoshkin. Now for Vlasov, he's tripped up, penalty coming. And the touch by Keeley. 8.07 to go here in the second. Blasov hitting the ice there. 
unintentionally. He had some speed going up the ice too. Ivashkin left him a really good how do you do. And he was moving. So quick that he only had to use his stick to slow him down. Rewarded with a two minute sit down. Call that a timeout. The penalty two for tripping on Bioni at 11.53. Bobcats with their, technically it's their third power play of the night as this one's sent out of play by Ford. Bobcats have had a lot of success as of late on their uh, special teams, whether that be the power play or the penalty kill. Not converting earlier on tonight, but showing a lot of potential they're gonna hope to uh, capitalize here. Daly on the back end with Bohan, Vlasov, Tattern, and Andreoli of the five on this initial Hitachi Energy power play unit. Daly hit by Farmer, tied up in the corner, comes free on goal, and Cavallari will hop out on top and get the whistle. Daly and Keplinger exchanging a few words there. Daly got his stick in there at the last second on Cavallari. Looking for a quick poke, maybe poke it before he gets his glove on it. Sometimes that can lead to a little bit of an altercation. About 95 seconds left now on the man advantage. Bohan and Andrioli is gonna get called for interference as he tried to wall off Schnapp. Andrioli has been hitting the score sheet just about every category as of late since and, his arrival here in Blue Ridge. And that's a penalty, Purdy, where much like in football when you have a, a rub route or a pick route, when you set that pick, you can't be that blatant with it. Nope, you gotta. It's gotta be a little a brush, a little drive-by action, not straight up slam him with the shoulder. Yeah, got to have a little bit of give there. Andrioli, he's just built too tough. Nothing but all gas for him. So four on four now for the next 90 seconds. Firth, back of the goal, Salak was tied up nicely by Ernst. And now Norwinski trying to get it out. Life was made difficult by Kramer. Three Bobcats. Versus three Thunderbirds in the scrum worked out. Bank feed could not be handled by Kramer. As now Kennedy has it. Kennedy will send this ahead. Kramer walks in, toe drag. Knocked off it by Ernst. He'll leave it for Martin. Who's watched by Kramer, Martin. Find some space to work with across the line. Drop Norwinski. Walks down the wing. Sends it in front off the pad of Cavallari. Martin wraps in front. Shot blocked. Got his own rebound. Out to Igor. Igor back to Martin. Slap shot deflected just wide. Norwinski unable to hold it in. Martin had that one labeled. He did. He'll leave it for Delcart. He'll slam on the brake. Send it down low. Ivanov hops on. Daly forces a turnover. Now Ford on the pickup. Behind the net, 6-10 left. As Cavallari got snow showered there by Daly. And this one sent ahead, picked off by Igor. Gotta wait for Daly to touch back up. In the process, his stick was lifted by Baker. Baker across the line, left it for Ford. Ford centers, Keplinger walks in, shoots, missed high. Rebound was there, Ford on the wrap. Pass for Baker off his stick. Keeley for Farmer, he'll shoot, pad save, green. Andrioli standing up in the box. Carolina's brief power play is over. Farmer for Keeley, a shot blocked and green in the midst of heavy traffic. He made no mistake with that one. Looked like my ride home on I-77. Somehow saw through the brake lights. <laughs> Connor Green's one of those goalies that can really see through traffic very well. 
He's moving around constantly, going up, down, side to side, wherever you need to be to find a lane to see. And he does it consistently. That's, that's the thing we keep mentioning here at Connor Green is consistency. Bobcats able to win the draw and get it out. Martin was checked by Keeley. They'll send it on, picked up by Ford. Now for Keplinger, back for Ford. Shot blocked by his opposite name. And now a penalty. I believe it's gonna go on Carolina. It's a holding call. Nope, it's gonna go on Ford. That's a weak call. Yeah, I'm not sure I agree with that one. Ford had his stick knocked out of his hands and I mean, what, what more choice do you have at that point without a twig than to grab the guy, not, you know, blatantly, but. Whereas the Adrioli penalty was a clear and obvious infraction, that one, there may have been a penalty in there, but it was more subtle than anything else. Plus he didn't have a twig to work with. Yeah, that's a tough bounce there. The refs delivering a healthy dose of adversity to the Bobcats, allowing them to shine on the PK. The Thunderbirds are on the power play. Ford to Baker, back to Ford. Now to Keplinger, he'll wait for the point four. Touch pass, Baker. Ford delaying. Keplinger outside the dot, down low, Salak in front, Kramer. Green made the stop. Rebound pinballing around over top of the net. Trickles out into the slot. Ford waiting. Toe drag. Dropped it to Baker. Now back to Ford. Keplinger walks the line out top. Baker once again. Ford shoots. Score. Not sure if anybody got a piece of that on the way through, but it's a power play goal, and it's 4-1. Yep, the refs got the primary assist on that goal, Brett. And they've just given the Bobcats another penalty. This guy's out of control. A zebra sent to keep the peace. Seemingly instigating. Ford had something to say to him on his way off the ice. Speaking of off the ice, we've just seen a goalie switch here. Owen Liskowitz in the net. Connor Green has been pulled. And a tough bounce for Greener. But need to change the momentum here, I think, more than anything else. And that's what uh, Coach Zemlik is looking to do. So another power play for the Thunderbirds. Looked like number 76, Bill Lyons, one of the referees that made the call on Ford and now is conversating again with the scorer's box. I guess Ford hurt his feelings. Something like that. The fans making it very clear how they feel about the ref. Yeah, I was gonna say, the fans letting you know how they feel about Bill Lyons saying, ref, you suck, ref, you suck, ref, you suck. We are merely translating, neither agreeing nor disagreeing with their sentiment. Just conveying the message. Correct. Sent over to Frazee, shorthanded, he'll race ahead here. Frazee walks in, shoots Cavallari, shut that down with 4.01 to go in the second. So Purdy, let's uh, keep it here during the media timeout. First up, let's talk about the shovel kids. One of the kids tonight, Joshua Bentley. I have the honor of being his coach. He's a very dedicated kid. I'm really happy to see him out here. He's done nothing but work hard since he got out there on the ice. He's just a little guy, but he's got a big heart. Great to see him out here shoveling off the ice. Well, now take us through the goalie switch here and let's Let's be clear, this is not a Connor Green's not having a good night. He's made some great saves tonight, 
this is a pivotal point in the game, a three goal deficit. You need a momentum switch, that's a very quick way to do it. Definitely, and pulling the goalie is always going to result in something happening, whether that's good or bad. Normally, it's good because the team is ignited. A new flame gets lit, and Owen Liskowitz is gonna be the catalyst here, hopefully. That's what Zemi's trying to do, but hopefully the message is clear and it gets sent quickly because a 4-1 game, that could get out of hand very quickly. You need to claw back into this one. So, Owen, hold the line. Rest of the boys, let's give her. It's like Mario Cavalieri is having some words with the ice crew. Timmy Miller, a product of the Carolina Hurricanes, PNC Arena. Some of the best ice in the show. Some of the best ice in the show, and also my mentor. He's shown me how to run the Zamboni Monday to Friday in this building. That he did. He is an incredible individual. I'm grateful to call him my coach. Igor will dump this in on the PK with a minute 20 to go on it. Firth now for Siolik. Keeley will speed ahead. Keeley dropped it. Schnapp trying to go down low. Puck pinballs around in front. Frazee held on to it long enough to get it to Igor, but he couldn't clear it. Schnapp held it in. Puck deflected off the stick of Delcart and out of play. 3.28 left in the second. Speaking of sticks there, Owen Liskowitz getting the handle on that one as it was bouncing around, pinballing in front of the net. He uses a 27 and a half inch paddle, a longer stick than most that will normally opt for a 26 inch paddle. That inch and a half makes a difference. I believe it's a longer stick than Green uses. Definitely. Now Baker was knocked off it. What an effort right there by Newberg on the penalty kill. Keplinger. Now back to Ford. 3.15 left. Keplinger enters. 45 seconds left of the man advantage. Keplinger waiting to Ford. Fakes it. Baker. Out top, Ford. Tapped around. Now Keplinger outside the faceoff dot for Salak. Now Ford, Baker tees it up, waiting, trying to go seam pass. Now down low to Salak, trying to get this back to the forehand, could not. Baker, now to Ford, 18 seconds. Baker skate to stick. They'll swap spots with Ford. Ford walks in, seam pass, Salak scores. Liskowitz came out to challenge, and Salak beat him under the arm. Once again, the refs getting the primary assist on that goal. Liskowitz just missing that one. A well-placed shot by Salak. He's no stranger to a good shot. Tucked it just above the leg pad, just below the blocker. A very difficult spot for any goaltender of any level to stop. And we're two and a half to go in the second. Bobcats were right in this one and, and the floodgates open. Keeley sends it down low. Farmer knocked off it by Vlasov. Now Schnapp out top. Butita sends it on. Goal stick to side by Liskowitz. Keeley. Defended by Bohan, now Butita, a wrap chance. Was shut down by Liskowitz with the pad, and the net came off its moorings. Really good outstretched leg save there by Liskowitz. A 5-1 game sub two minutes. In the second, there's a lot of time left in this game Something's got to give. Yeah, feel like you'd have to get one here before the end of the second. Definitely. Ivashkin, guy that can do just that at will pretty much. Bohan ahead to Vlasov. Vlasov waiting, trying to drag it around. Keeley could not, and now Kramer back the other way. 
Wade shoots, Liskowitz got a piece of that. Now Kramer again. Checked off it, Delcart. I'll leave it for Ivoskin. Ivoskin tripped up and there's a penalty coming on Kramer with a buck 14 to go. Kramer with the clear trip there. Oh, and the ref, ref handing out another penalty here. To who? Ivoshkin's going to the box. Uh, Bill Lyons is at it again. This ref's going to need an armored car escort out of the building if these calls continue. The fans are letting them hear it. Uh, I think Bill Lyons forgot that the fans came to watch the two teams in blue and white sweaters, not black and white. Exactly. And we've seen nothing but a good game from the linesman and the other official. But Lyons looking like amateur hour out there tonight. And he's given an explanation to Wojtek Zimlika, which uh, Zimmy doesn't appear to be too pleased with. And rightfully so. Now it looked like they called Ivoskin for a slash. It looked like that was the signal. Yeah, it looks like Ivoshkin's going to go two minutes for a slash there. Coach Zemlik on the bench, not happy at all. You can see in his expressions, I can't repeat what his lips said. Yeah. But either way, it was not agreeing with the ref's call. No, we're four on four here. Kennedy shoots, chest save, let's go it. Chest save and a beauty. And Liskowitz is a big goalie. He's no, he's no little fella. So there's a lot of chess to go around. Ivanov. Some space to work with here across the line. Andre down low. Out top to Delcart. Igor a shot deflected on by Frazee. Cleaned up by Firth and sent behind the net. Kennedy. That's Ford and Firth with friendly fire. Kennedy will kill time behind the net here. Firth now for Ford with Baker awaiting. Baker walks right in, shoots. Blocked off the stick of Ivanov. Up the kick plate. Firth sent it up into the air. Norwinski. Finally found it, 25 seconds. Norwinski ahead, Daly. Checked, Baker. Checked by Daly. Ford, stick handles around Norwinski for Baker with 13 seconds. Out top, Firth shoots wide. Frazee will pick it up, race ahead with four, with three, with two, with one, a shot right on, save made, and that will do it. What a period. We are in for a good third period tonight. That we are. I tell you what, the stage is set. Cavalieri is upset about something. The rest of the Bobcats are definitely upset about something. Yeah, Newberg still talking to Bill Lyons. The fans are upset about something. The f well, Newberg's not the only one talking to Bill Lyons. He's got a lot of customers. Well, a lot to unpack after a Eventful second period. As everyone skates off to their respective rooms and... Well, Purdy? I'm gonna make a wager. I'm gonna put five bucks on Leon's throwing a fan out tonight. I think he's gonna take it one step further the question is, what lucky fan is going to get that expulsion? He just might. 
I'm gonna have to track down a, a little, little bit of corn dog, a little bit yeah, of popcorn. Yeah, you, you need this to be a good one. Need a feel good corn dog after that second period. I'll tell you that. Grab me one too. Oh, you definitely. I'll get you one or two or three. Yeah, or a hot dog. I don't know. Barbecue sandwich. Should, Food run. I just need I need something feel good in the tum tum right now. Yeah, That's I hear you. After a uh, a a second period where there were four goals scored, the only problem was three of them were by the other team. Yep, tough bounces either way. We're in for an exciting third period here. An uphill road is laid out. Question is, how how far down do you push the gas pedal? Adversity, nothing new to this Bobcats team, and they're for sure facing it, heading into period number three. Bobcats trailing, 5-1 after two. We will take a timeout, come back and break down that second period. A lot to unpack. Get it. And check our out-of-town scoreboard. Lots to unpack there as well. 5-1 Thunderbirds back after this. Blue Ridge Bobcats are now offering season ticket lockdowns for 2024-2025 season ticket deposits. Lock down your spot in line when tickets go on sale. Current season ticket holders have first rights to positions on the list and will be able to put down their deposits beginning March 11th. New season ticket holders for 2024-25 can put their deposits down on March 25th for their place in line. Again, $50 deposits will begin being taken on March 11th starting as low as $10 per ticket and $280 for the season, plus fees. For more information, call us at 276-335-2100 or email Jenna Lewis at jlewis at blueridgebobcats.com or visit our website, www.blueridgebobcats.com. I am Hitachi. Located in Bland, Virginia, we are committed to our employees and take pride that we are the employer of choice in the region. Hitachi Energy is a global leader in the design and manufacturing of clean, oil-free transformers. We adjust and stabilize the voltage of electricity flowing through the nation's power grid. Hitachi Energy is celebrating 50 years of serving Southern Virginia. Go to HitachiEnergy.com. I am Hitachi. Hitachi, inspire the next. The inaugural season of Blue Ridge Bobcats hockey is brought to you by Dutch Miller Nissan of Withville. At Dutch Miller Nissan of Withville, you'll always get the best price on a brand new Nissan. From the sleek design of the Altima, to the off-road power of the Titan, to the ever-versatile Rogue. New inventory is arriving weekly. Check us out at DutchMillerNissanOfWithville.com or stop by Dutch Miller anytime during business hours to test drive a Nissan and experience for yourself why Nissan has the innovation that excites. Imagine a place where small moments can lead to a life-changing impact. Where each interaction builds trust and sight. Where expertise leads to clarity. Where a small act of kindness can make all the difference. Vistar Eye Center putting you in focus. Hey guys, it's Colin down here at Dutch Miller Nissan of Withville, and I just noticed something terrible today in Withville. A lot of you are missing a very important part on your car that could be saving you thousands and losing you thousands if you don't have it. If you look right here, this is a Dutch Miller Nissan of Withville sticker. What that sticker means is a lot more than any other sticker. We have the widest selection of inventory, so you can find the perfect vehicle for you. Whether pre-owned or new, we have it here at Dutch Mill. The Sobe Law Firm and Michael J. Sobe, attorney at law, have been serving the people of Wythe County in Southwest Virginia for 25 years. With experience in both criminal and family law, Michael J. Sobe is here to serve you 
and meet your individual needs. Located on Main Street in Rural Retreat, call 276-686-6155 to schedule an appointment today. Mention the Bobcats and your consultation is absolutely free. That's right. Mention the Bobcats and your consultation is free. That number again, 276-686-6155. Sobe Law Firm, he'll help you out. Is winter weather taking a toll on your car's shine? Then pay a visit to Mountain Edge Car Wash. Located between Sheets and Bojangles off I-81 at exit 70, Mountain Edge offers a variety of washes for all vehicle types. Choose from simple washes like Base Camp and The Ascent to deluxe washes like The Scream, The Ridge, and The Summit. Premium washes include the Avalanche Ceramic Shield and a trip through Mountain Edge Falls. All washes feature tire shine, bug prep, and rain repellent, plus always free vacuums. Also ask about an unlimited wash membership with plans starting at just $19.99. Visit them today at 200 East Commonwealth Drive in Whitville or online at mountainedgecarwash.com. Personal relationship with our service advisors down here at Dutch Miller. They're with you all the time, 100%, and they keep your car and your mentality in perfect health. And behind the scenes, our service techs are hard at work making sure not only your personal vehicles, but all of our inventory in there is in perfect condition. They work tirelessly to get you the best. Here on the sales floor, our sales team is working tirelessly to make sure you have the perfect vehicle for you. They're constantly at their computers finding the perfect features, price, and size vehicles for you. So fix the problem your car has today. Get the Dutch Miller sticker, get better service, better care, and better quality out of your car. Come see me, Colin Ward, at Dutch Miller Nissan today to get the best deals and save yourself thousands of dollars down the road. The Blue Ridge Bobcats are proud to announce the grand opening of the Bobcats Beer Garden, located behind Section 109 at the Apex Center and now open for all Bobcats home games. The Bobcats Beer Garden offers a wide variety of options, including old favorites and new beverage options that you're sure to enjoy. The Bobcats Beer Garden is the perfect place to gather with friends during the game and drink the coldest beverages around while you enjoy the coolest game on earth. Looking to own the finest Bobcat swag in all the land? There's only one place to go, the Den at the Apex Center. The Den offers a full assortment of Bobcats merchandise, including hats, t-shirts, beanies, jackets, hoodies, jerseys, game memorabilia, cups, and so much more. With prices affordable for all ages, sizes, and families, you'll be sure to gear up at the right place. Visit the Den during business hours or on game nights. Looking for a fun, new, and exciting outing for your group? Look no further than the Blue Ridge Bobcats. Professional hockey is here in the Blue Ridge Mountains, and the Blue Ridge Bobcats are offering special ticket packages, perfect for business outings, church groups, and so many more. Grab your friends, grab your coworkers, and experience the fun, fast-paced action of pro hockey. Call Jenna Lewis at 276-335-2100 or email Jenna at jlewis at blueridgebobcats.com to secure your group ticket package today. Hey guys, what's up? It's Colin down here at Dutch Miller Nissan of Whitville right in front of America's own truck. Designed in California, engineered in Michigan, and assembled in Mississippi, the Nissan Titan. What makes this such a great truck is not just its reliability, safety, and cost efficiency, it's also some of the amazing features I'm about to show you right now. This SV Nissan Titan has a 5.6 liter V8 engine, a 9 speed transmission, and boasts a strong 400 horsepower. Wow! Putting yourself in the driver's seat can be stressful, but not with the Nissan Titan. It makes it as easy and as comfortable as possible. Boasting hands-free text-to-talk, cruise control, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, dual temperature zones, and heated seats. It also boasts power seating, 
power locks and power windows. Hey Bobcats fans, it's Johnny with Odell's Landscape and Lawn Care. Give us a call, 540-392-5052 or www.odellslawncare.com for all your landscape and lawn care needs. Uh, we are official sponsor and supporters of the Blue Ridge Bobcats. And as always, go Bobcats! Hey Bobcats fans, this is Clay Bush with 103 Towing and Recovery. I just want to take a second to remind you to please slow down and move over when you see flashing lights while working on the side of the road. For all your light duty towing needs and with Bill, please remember 276-613-0997. And if you have youth and interested in playing hockey, please check out the Blue Ridge Youth Hockey Association on Facebook. Thank you. Go Bobcats. Stop by and take a look at the 2024 Titan. This vehicle is powered by a four-wheel drive, eight-cylinder, 5.6-liter engine, and comes with a nine-speed automatic transmission. Here are some of this vehicle's great options. Power windows with safety reverse, cargo bed light, LED, traction control, stability control, front suspension type, strut, front suspension type, double wishbones, power brakes, braking assist, Inside you'll find rear view camera, driver attention alert system, airbags, front knee, audio radio, touch screen display, electronic messaging assistance with read function, electronic messaging assistance with voice recognition, Nissan Connect, satellite communications. Want to go somewhere amazing? Nice, right? But we're not there yet. Not this either. Still not it. Finding the next stepping place isn't the point. And a Nissan Pathfinder? Search is the adventure. Back here inside the Apex Center. Things got a little bit out of hand there in that second period between the Thunderbirds and your Blue Ridge Bobcats. Joined alongside Ryle Purdy, I'm Brett Wiseman. Let's take you back through that second period. Joel Frazee on a one-on-0 -on breakaway made the most of it, putting home his eighth goal of the season at a minute 55 into the second. An unassisted even strength goal to tie the game at one. But then a response from Carolina at 428. Josh Keplinger toe dragged out top center wrist shot that went off an arm, a stick, a glove, something surprised Connor Green and beat him just to the right of his glove. Four minutes and 26 seconds, or four minutes and 16 seconds later. Jacob Schnapp shot one off the glove of Connor Green that found the back of the net. Carolina kept at it. Then Bioni was off for tripping at 11.53 while the Bobcats were on the power play. Carson Andrioli tried to run a screen. The only problem was he did it too well. Called for interference at 12.19. Both teams went four on four. Eventually we go back to even strength and then more penalties. Stephen Ford called for holding without a stick at 14.47. Gus Ford scored on the power play ensuing. Less than a minute into it. And then Ford, frustrated by the penalty call, had something to say to number 76, Bill Lyons, one of the orange bands tonight on his way by. Lyons immediately pointed him and directed him right back to the penalty box for unsportsmanlike conduct. The Thunderbirds then scored. Four 
50 seconds into that power play. After Owen Liskowitz had entered the crease. Roman Kramer was off for hooking and Nikita Ivoskinov for slashing, both coming at 18.46. So we start the third period here, Purdy, with a fresh sheet of ice and four players aside for the first 47 seconds. It's gonna be some four on four hockey here for the start. Hopefully it remains four on four and then back to five on five. We'll see if Leon's has anything to say about that. We'll update you on what's going on in the NHL. Toronto leading the Washington Capitals four to two after two periods of play. Dallas leading Arizona three to one in the second period. Minnesota and LA, the nightcap coming up in about 40 minutes. In college basketball, the first four, Grambling in overtime, overcoming a 14 point deficit. To best Montana State, 88-81. Colorado and Boise State tip off soon. Next door to the Thunderbirds home arena, across the parking lot at the Joel Coliseum in Winston-Salem. Top overall seed in the NIT, Wake Forest, hosting my alma mater, Appalachian State. And the Mountaineers making a comeback down by two, 45-43 with 14-23 to go in the second half of that one. This weekend in the FPHL, as we told you in our first intermission, Watertown and Elmira are chasing each other for that fourth and final playoff spot in the Empire Division. Watertown just a handful of points back. They'll visit Binghamton Friday at seven o'clock. Elmira will head just a skosh further north than they are right now. They'll head to Port Huron and face the Prowlers at seven o'clock on Friday night. Bobcats, of course, back here hosting the defending champion Danbury Hattricks at 7.30. Carolina hosts Baton Rouge at 7.30 Friday night. Columbus, the Continental Division leaders hosting Motor City. Remember, Carolina can clinch home ice in the first round of the playoffs with a win tonight. Bobcats trying to play spoiler, and what a way to do it. To try and make a multi-goal comeback here in the third period. Nowhere to go but up at this point. The Bobcats know what they have to do. It's a matter of who will lead the charge to do what needs to be done. All right, 47 seconds of five on three, or four on four here. Andrioli off the draw, will dump it in. Cavallari settles it behind the net, Farmer. We'll see how aggressive Carolina is with a four goal lead. Ernst sent it on, Cavallari made the stop. 16 seconds into the third. Shots by our count now 22-18 in favor of the Thunderbirds. The Bobcats have had their chances in this one as Norwinski was hit up high. And the Thunderbird lost a stick. Andrioli trying to stick handle around Seolik, picked up now by Frazee and now dropped back by Norwinski to Ernst. Ernst behind the net. Final 10 seconds of four on four. Ernst splits the defense. Up the wing, three on two was developing, but Vlasov had the puck hop off his stick. Salak will tie up Ernst, work it free. Bioni sends it on, and the fifth man hops on for each side. Liskowitz settles this behind the net. Bohan leaves it for Ernst. Now Ivoshkin tips it ahead. Firth intercepts. D to D for Kennedy. Sent ahead and tipped off the stick of Seolik and in. Liskowitz will leave it behind the net. Ford for Tattern. He'll send it on Ivoshkin. Trying to dangle around Firth. Now here's Kennedy. He's knocked off it. Vlasov trying to center pass was blocked by Ford. And played up and out. Baker 
waiting, toe drag, shot blocked by Bohan, rebound came right to Keplinger who put it home. Six one. Tough bounce there. Carolina capitalizes. Six one. Back just got a heck of a lot tougher. Whalen in the neutral zone. Boy, he was hit hard by McHugh. Ivanov. Igor sends it on. McHugh couldn't quite stick it down. Cavalieri out of his net to play it. Whalen chased by McHugh. Now Newberg knocked that free. Ivanov pokes it loose in the neutral zone. Martin sends it in. Keeley. Behind the net, pivots on McHugh. Whalen with a pick. And now ahead comes Keeley. Or his twin brother, who sends it wide. Schnapp will chase after this. He'll leave it for Bioni. On the near side, half boards behind the net with it. He'll go D to D. Farmer. Snow showered by Andrioli. Farmer ahead. Kramer to Seolik. Trying to toe drag around the man. Picked up by Salak. Salak checked. Popped out by Andrioli. Now to Bioni. Sent ahead Salak. Seolik shot off the blocker of Liskowitz. Andrioli sends it ahead. This is Daly. He was hip checked hard by Bioni. Pops right back up. Salak now for Kramer. Kramer, a shot gloved by Liskiewicz. He'll hang on to it. Yeah, Daly took a good crunch there on the sidewall. Popped right back up, as per usual. Bobcats looking for a spark, whether that be a fight, a save, a Big goal. hit, something. They need something. They need something to stand on, and they need it quickly. Tied up off the draw as Ford lost an edge behind the net. Tattern will play this safely away to Vlasov who will clear the zone. Kennedy behind the net. He'll leave it. Vlasov the tip. Couldn't handle it. Ford again lost an edge. Now Keplinger sends it on. Liskowitz makes the stop and will cover it. Soft chip to the net, looking for a rebound, not a rebound, a, uh, a tip on the way to the net. Or a crashing F2 to catch it as it's making its way to the net. Either way, Liskowitz rewarded that one, getting the glove on it, making that quick whistle appear. Comes down the length of the ice, this will be an icing call with 16-21. 1620, I should say, to go here in the third. Thunderbirds making a fresh leg line change here. Tired legs for the Bobcats. A tactical change. Tattern. Oh, big hit right there on Keeley. Who then was checked by Ford as well. Utsida is knocked off it. Vlasov chips it ahead. Ivoshkin walks in, centers. Vlasov tied up. Pretty good back check right there as now Schnapp works ahead. He was knocked off it by Igor. Delcart. Pass for Newberg was blocked. Now Plover to Salak. He'll tap it back to Keeley. He'll set up behind the net. 15 and a half to go. Newberg went for the hit on him. <laughs> Liskowitz behind the net. Had it picked off by Salak in front. Kramer tipped wide. Rebound is there. 
Back in whack time, Liskowitz has it, and here we go. This is Delcart. Delcart and Kramer going at it here. Just holding each other, no hands thrown yet. Kramer and Delcart will both go to the box here. So we'll go back to four on four. To each for roughing. thrown in that altercation. More or less a... Uh, disagreement. Disagreement, yep. Newberg tied up off the draw. Martin has it pop free to him. Martin. No way behind the net. Try and break this out. Norwinski drops it for Martin. Over to Ernst. He'll center Norwinski. Toe drag. Pass back for Newberg, who's tied up by Seolik. Bioni with a big reverse hit right there on Newberg. Salak back through the neutral zone with it. Center, Seolik shoots, missed just wide. Now Firth in the neutral zone with it. Firth wait, sends it on, Seolik. For Kramer, now to Firth. Now Keplinger, Ford. In the far side corner, knocks it around the wall. Firth beaten to it by Daly who banks it ahead. Kennedy, chased after by Stephen Ford. Kennedy, behind the net. <laughs> now for Keplinger, touched back over to Firth. Six minutes gone by, third period. Kennedy, into the zone, was checked. Daly and Ford were tied up, and now Frazee walks ahead with it. Frazee walks in, shoots that one off the stick of Firth and high. Daly holds onto it, tried to center it, intercepted by Kennedy, and now Keplinger off the bank feed. He'll wait, try and go down low for Ford, and a penalty coming up here on the Bobcats with 13.31 to go. Ford on Ford, Ford took a penalty. He's still not happy about it. It's gonna be a hook. That time the call came from Kenny Monis, number 37. Ford is extremely unhappy about that call. We'll take a quick timeout. Thunderbirds will have a power play when we return.
Back here inside the Apex Center. Bobcats to the penalty kill, a shot right off the draw, stopped by Liskowitz. Delcart and Kramer, six seconds away from freedom. Ford, unfortunately, has to wait another minute and 57. Four down the half boards. Keplinger to the point. Four to his left. Baker walks in, shoots, deflected wide off the back of the cage. Both Kramer and Delcart are now free. Kramer for Salak. Walks in, leaves it. Baker to Ford. At the Salak, touch to Ford once again. Ford shoots, deflected just wide by Kramer. And now Baker tried to slap it out top. But Ford could not handle the pass. And he'll try and speed back ahead with it. Maneuvers past Andrioli. Ford stick handling. Muscles it on goal and the save made by Liskowitz. And Delcart had a few words for him after he charged on goal. Delcart establishing. You mess around, you find out. Twelve thirty-two to go. A minute left on this latest Thunderbirds power play. Firth, Keeley, Kennedy. Fakes it. Keeley touches it back to Kennedy. Now back to his right for Firth, who's checked by Frazee. Schnapp recovered it. Kennedy for Keeley once again. Walks down the wing, centers first, shoots, missed high. Keeley for Kennedy. Below the goal line, Butita, as Bohan was tied up by Schnapp. Firth for Butita once again. Schnapp fanned on the one timer. Firth. Sends it on, tipped high by Butita. Now Norwinski, unable to clear, shot wide. Schnapp in front, Butita. What a save. What a pad save that was from Liskowitz. And now cleared out by Norwinski, Ford is free. Dumped in, Frazee, can't quite handle it. Now Schnapp's got to break the other way. Schnapp, shoots, missed wide. Good hit behind the net there by Daly, nearly forced a turnover. Now Farmer, nine minutes gone by. Shots 31 to 20. Now in favor of the Bobcats, may, or favor of the Thunderbirds, make that 32 as Farmer is stopped by the glove of Liskowitz. Oh, Liskowitz making a, a series of good saves there. Especially the pad stop there on Butsita. Definitely, he was moving west to south and he outstretched the leg first and that's exactly what the puck hit. A very high IQ heads up save there by Liskowitz. Farmer able to hold it in. He'll send it down low. Delcart, good hit on Seolik. Maybe a shot tipped high. Bayer, I should say, had that shot, number 26. As now Salak trying to center. Picked up by Vlasov. For Ivashkin. Dropped. Tattered. Waiting. Muscles his way down low. Now sends it to the point. To Bohan, a one-timer, tipped on, save made. And Ivoskin trying to corral the rebound. Buck is free, Ivoskin on the wrap. That was shut down. 
Newberg and Siolik battling. Multi-man scrum in the corner, halfway through the third. Finally dug free and Newberg was knocked off it. Ford, down the wall, Vlasov. Back to four, too hot to handle. They'll stretch it ahead, Ivashkin. Hit by Bayer. Pops out of the zone, Martin drops it back, Ernst. He'll hang on to this behind the net. Norwinski for Martin. Send it on, looking for Frazee. Eventually does come to him in the far side corner. Trying to go down low for McHugh. Norwinski fanned on it, a bit save made. Rebound. Somehow Cavalieri kept that out with McHugh diving over top. Boy, that was a close one. 9.02 to go. Thunderbirds continue to lead. Back right after this. Back here inside the Apex Centers, you gotta look there at the Bobcat bench. Thunderbirds with a 6-1 lead as we come down the stretch. Bioni was knocked off it by Andrioli, then Ford was checked. Ernst a shot, score! Matt Ernst, his first professional goal! You love to see it! Beautiful goal by Matt Ernst. A goal scorer's goal. Get him the puck. Somebody grab that puck! The Floridian from Daytona Beach. Put one through faster than the two and a half mile super speedway that his town calls home. One step closer to clawing back. Almost forgot to change the score. As that shot was blocked there, Ivanov. Now for Daly. Up the wing, Frazee moves ahead. Andrioli, shot save made. Frazee was trying to get a hand on the rebound, but he was tied up. Ivanov has been announced as the goal scorer, but that's not right at all, as a Thunderbird charges in on goal. After Liskowitz made the stop. Behind the net, Salak and Vlasov, a couple Eastern Europeans tied up with one another. Up the wing it comes, Siolik pinned up by Ford. Salak worked off it by Vlasov and cleared out. Three, 
See Olick tied up by Tattered in the neutral zone. Pops to Ivoshkin, who has finds Bohan. Back to Ivoshkin. He'll find his way through one defender, but was checked there. And now Kramer sends it on. Ford intercepts. Ernst the goal scorer for Ivoshkin. Tipped into the zone. Ivoshkin warded off by Whalen. And up the wall it comes to Kramer. Kramer dumps it in. Ernst. Behind the net with 7-10 left. Newberg. Back for Ernst. Norwinski. Sent it ahead. Newberg. Tipped it into the zone. Loose in the high slot. Tried to drop it back out top. Norwinski was not where he thought he would be. Back ahead. Newberg. He'll dump it in. Cavalieri will catch this in the glove and hang on to it. Newberg tied up on the draw. Bayer behind the net will leave it. This is Farmer. Farmer on to Keplinger and dumped in. Ernst chasing after it. They'll send it up and around looking for Martin. And now a foot race. McHugh will win it. McHugh trying to play this around. Farmer picked up by Bayer. Bayer plays it on over. Ivanov. For Delcart. Igor back to Andre. Trying to stick handle around a man and offside as Keplinger tried to touch back up. Crazier things have happened, Purdy, in six minutes and 13 seconds. Goal a minute wins it. Keeley. Back for Kennedy now. Firth will dump it in as Thunderbirds, I think, content to just play and cruise control here. Delcart behind the net was knocked off it by Schnapp. Andrioli for Firth. Now to Kennedy. He'll shoot deflected wide. Rebound is covered by Liskowitz. As it bounced off the end boards and right into the blue paint. As you know, Purdy, very active. End boards here at the Apex Center. Definitely not as active as the Joe Lewis Arena, but very close second. Close enough. Close enough. Bobcats win the draw. Bohan speeds ahead. Now to Daly. Daly knocked off it by Kennedy. Kennedy sends it behind the net. This is Firth. Firth. Lights around to check. Now Schnapp will kick it on into the zone on his own side of the red line. So that's an icing goal with 5.32 left. Ivoshkin shot blocked. Norwinski corrals this on the far side. Sent it down low. Ivoshkin tipped it to Tatter. Now to Ernst back up the wall. Behind the net, Ivoshkin. Norwinski lost an edge. Ivoshkin protects it. Out top, Tatter. Shot blocked by Schnapp. That was a big time block by Schnapp. Who had lost his stick. And sent ahead and dumped in by Keeley. Five minutes to go. Tattern leaves this for Ernst. He's checked by Kramer. Ernst will go all the way around D to D for Norwinski. He'll again go behind the net for Ernst, who will leave this for Tattern. Sent ahead, Ivoshkin for Ernst. Ernst speeds in on the backhand, shot it just high. Newberg races to it to keep it alive. Whalen behind the net, lost the handle. Ivoshkin on the pickup. Ivoshkin. Speeds out into the high slot with it. Protects it. Out top it comes. Igor, a shot blocked in front. Rebound is there. 
Newberg picks it back up. Delcart shot one again, blocked in front. Picked up and dumped out. Delcart sends it on Vlasov. Between the skates of Ivashkin. Now Whalen. He'll move ahead, dump it in. Igor will stick this out of midair. Play this away from a four checking Baker. Ivanov will hop to it with 350 left, intercepted by Ford. Shot stopped by Liskowitz. Andrioli was knocked off it by Ford. Kramer now to Bioni. Pass intercepted by Delcart. 3.30 to go. Pass too far for Daly. This will be an icing call with 3.20 left. We'll keep it here, Purdy. You know, it's kind of one of those games where you see 6-2, but not really indicative of, of how the Bobcats have played from a structural standpoint, just being bitten by the penalty bug, whether you agree with the calls or not. Yeah, anytime you've, uh, you've got a lot of minutes on the clock in terms of penalty time, you're not gonna have the best time. And um, it's hard to win a game in the box. Especially against a team like this. Especially against a team like this. Tough bounces either way tonight, but something's got to give. You know, you need to find a spark. They've they've had they've had times where that spark was lit and it, they they were going gas pedal all the way down, and that got superseded by that small percentage of time that the gas pedal wasn't all the way down. So it's a matter of consistency and recreating that perfect pass, that perfect setup, that perfect structure, that perfect save, it, it, doing that consistently will result in wins. And this is a first year team that's come so far. Let's not forget how far we have come. The sky's the limit and we're headed there. It's just a matter of time. 320 left. Cleared out by the Bobcats. Icing waved off. Farmer behind the net. Ahead to Baker. Back over to Keplinger. Keplinger works around Ford. Backhands it high. Baker sends it around. Andrioli. Now to Bohan. Bohan waits. Ford. For Bohan. Bohan works on through. Pass deflected off of Bioni and bounces out of the zone. Ford ahead to Daly. He'll find Ford once again. Ford walks in, shoots, blocker save Cavallari. Sent off the pad of Cavallari once again. That's passed too far and a penalty upcoming. Got forward with the slash here. Well, he has been a marked man, especially in the eyes of number 76, the Orange Band, Bill Lyons. I'll tell you what, Bill Lyons has Ford's number tonight. Tied up off the draw, clear it out. With 2.15 left. The majority of that will be spent here on the penalty kill once more. Why not one more Hitachi Energy penalty kill here on Hitachi Energy Night? Hartz, good hit on Seolik. Seolik works it free. Out top, Keeley to Firth, a shot deflected on, save made. And Liskowitz will hang on to it. For the buck 54 left. I'd 
like to know if Leon's has a uh, wager on Ford getting six plus uh, penalty minutes on the night. Newberg won the draw, it's tied up. Norwinski able to work it free and backhand it out. Keeley to Firth, dumps it in. The clock has not started yet. And nobody on the ice has noticed it. Fans yelling clock, Schnapp and Norwinski collide. Still no one on the ice has noticed it. We play on. Schnapp to Firth. Now to Seolik. Now they start it. Firth a shot, that one stopped. So I guess waiting for a whistle to reset it. Nights like this, you're missing those big guns like Cody Oaks and Hunter Hall. Jacob Wolf. Jacob Wolf. I mean, those are impact players. And they make an impact every single game. You take them out of the equation, now you leave a giant hole where you need other guys to step up. Granted, guys like Matt Ernst, Andrioli, they are stepping up into those spots. I'd like to see what happens when everybody's on the same ship together. Now a minute 20 remaining. Baker to Ford, now to Keplinger. Salak back to Keplinger, Ford, one-timer, fanned on it, broke his stick, I believe, slightly. McHugh tied up Baker, but now Ford is on it. Keplinger, one-timer, off the pad of Liskowitz. And now out of the zone it comes. Ford, watched by McHugh, sends it on. Salak touches it over. Baker was hit hard by Delcart. And now those two have words. Still pushing and shoving. Delayed penalty. It's on the Bobcats. Keplinger, the touch by Igor. It looks like Leon's has kicked Igor out of the game. And with 31 seconds left. This ref is out of control. <laughs> In a league that depends on so many things such as everything going right. The refs being the weakest link is not well, ideal. Well, I, I will say it's only been one of the three tonight that's seemed to have an issue with someone or something. As the old adage goes, penalties are supposed to even out, but not with number 76 wearing the orange bands, apparently. That's right. A lot of adversity. Ford, now to Baker. Waits, back to Ford. Down low, Keplinger. Ford once again. Stephen Ford is loose. Frazee on the intercept. He'll race ahead on the breakaway. Stopped by the blocker of Cavallari. Daly will send it behind the net. Frazee on it once again. He was checked, Daly, up the wing, picked up by Salak with two, with one, and that will do it. Thunderbirds win it, 
that everyone was looking forward to. Carolina takes another one. But the Bobcats will salute the home fans to a rousing ovation. And that's something that has been constant this whole year. The fans in Blue Ridge have been absolutely outstanding. From the Lexington Church Bar crew that takes a picture every time an opposing team takes a penalty to Randy Kaiser and the rest of the Bland crew who get absolutely rowdy every second of the game, including before the game and after the game. The fans bring it here tonight and every night. Sometimes, arguably, they bring it more often than the Bobcats do. Well, just a frustrating one tonight. Bobcats fall by the count of six to two for our camera operator, Kelsey Marshett, our entire technical crew, Ariel Purdy. I'm Brett Wiseman. We'll see you back here Friday night. We'll see you tomorrow for our coaches show with head coach Wojtek Zemlika. And we'll see you right back here on Friday night when these same Bobcats host the Danbury Hattricks. For Kelsey and Ryle, I'm Brett. So long.